welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be making some scallops and mashed potatoes so please stay tuned and let me show you how let's begin with some russet potatoes you want to go ahead and wash them peel them and cut them in one inch slices also when you boil them begin with cold water always you want to add in two crushed garlic cloves you don't have to slice them up just give them a whack with the knife and then also add two tablespoons of salt you want to make sure that the water is very well seasoned and one bay leaf and um, you don't want to over boil your potatoes so once they start boiling them um, you want to just allow them to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes and you want to constantly check them with your fork for doneness um, once they basically fall apart um, they are done so you want to go ahead and take them out that way you don't end up with gummy mush potatoes which are not very good <laughs> um so go ahead and take out your potatoes um i just use the spider because it just makes it easier and heat up two cups of milk with about half a stick of butter <laughs> and i like to season my potatoes before mashing them just because i feel like it spreads out the seasonings a little bit better so just salt and pepper to taste and a little bit of italian season that's optional and go ahead and get to work you guys put in those muscles <laughs> next you want to slowly add in your milk um the milk and butter mixture and um don't use a fork use a spatula <laughs> learn from me and and um, yeah, you guys just add in slowly because you can always add more, but you cannot take it out if they're too mushy. And um, you want them to be smooth and creamy, but not, you know, runny, watery mashed potatoes. Um, but it is all preference. So make them as you like them. Um, you'll be able to tell once they are to your liking. And always, you guys, always, always taste your food as you go along. So throughout this process, I probably tried these like 10 times <laughs> and they were super good, might I add. And um, yeah, always give it a taste. And at the very end, I like to top them off with some melted butter. And that is my recipe for my mashed potatoes, you guys. I hope you give them a try. And now we can move on to the rest of the dinner, which is scallops. Make sure this is the most important step, you guys. They have to be fully dry so um, pat them dry with some paper towels after you give them a quick rinse with cold water and then the seasoning i like it very simple um, because they are so delicate just salt and pepper that is it <laughs> and um yeah i do just the first side then i add them to the skillet and you want to hear that sizzling sound if you do not hear that then your pan is not hot enough <laughs> um so go ahead and just make sure um, that they have enough oil. I like to start them off with just oil, no butter. That way you are ensuring that you're going to get a nice crust. Once you lay them down, you want to do this on medium to high heat. Do not touch them for about four minutes, you guys. You can peek, but please don't move them around. Um, once they're all settled in, go ahead and season with salt and pepper to taste on the other side. And um, yeah, you guys, just, you know, scallops are very simple, they're very delicate, and they are very delicious. So after about four minutes, you can go ahead and flip them over and look at that sear. Amazing, super delicious. <laughs> and um, you don't have to have them cook for so long on the other side. I would say one to two minutes max. And at this point, um, this is when you want to start adding some flavor. Once you get that sear, that is when you can add some butter because butter brings the flavor. I added about two full tablespoons, but you know, you do you. <laughs> and um, yeah, just allow that to melt and create a sauce. Um, then I um, added about... Um, I'm not gonna lie, I added a, a lot of garlic. <laughs> I think I used about four to six cloves. And um, yeah, garlic browns pretty easily, so you wanna lower your heat a little bit here. And just because um, anytime I'm making seafood, I always like to add a fresh um, squeeze of lemon juice, um, but don't go overboard. 
um, you definitely want to be able to taste the scallops. Um, the butter and the garlic and the lemon are great additives, but you still don't want to go overboard. Um, so just add just a squeeze. And yeah, you guys, they're pretty much done. You can go ahead at this point and just turn off the heat and then go ahead and remove them from the pan. But um, do not wash the pan because all of these drippings, yes, we're going to need them. <laughs> they are our seasoning for the other part of our plate, which is some delicious asparagus. I just washed them, cut off the ends, and I sauteed them in this garlicky, buttery, lemony sauce. If you have to add a little bit more butter and lemon, go ahead. And then we are ready to plate. I always start off with a bed of mashed potatoes, and then I lay the asparagus across, and you can plate as you like but this is just the way that i like to do it i just think it looks very elegant and it's definitely appetizing to the eyes <laughs> and um yeah then i laid the beautiful scallops on top and don't these look amazing you guys please give them a try i know they're a little intimidating but i promise you they're super easy and super delicious and um yeah then i just added a squeeze of extra lemon <laughs> just because i didn't want them to be too dry and some chives if you don't like chives you can use parsley as well and yeah you guys i hope that you guys give this a try so we're at the end and i just want to thank you guys again so much for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe like and leave me a nice comment i love hearing from you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye